my name is Suan Jung and I am the guide from the Youth Culture Corps. Then today we will look at the Taksugun Palace. And now I don't have a lot of time, so I will talk you about the main building of the Taksugun Palace. And when you look at here, you can see the main building of the Taksugun Palace that is called Chungajan. Then first I will tell you about the place main building in detail. The main building is called Cheongjeon in Korean. And this place was used for the big coronations. Many people think that the main building of the palace is used for the working place for the king, but it is wrong. The main building of the palace was used for the big coronations or events such as the party for the king and the Loya family or the birthday party for the Loya family or the coronations and a lot of events like when the other countries officials came to our country they also had the events in this place too it is because this place was the place that shows the palace of the Joseon period. Then now, let's look at this Jungadan in detail. Have you ever been to other palaces in the Seoul? You can see the five palaces in Joseon period, and this place is one of the palaces in the five palaces. And when you have visited other palaces and looked at the main building, you can see the different different point with other main building. Can you find anything? Then I will say the answer. The answer is in the main building they use the yellow color. In this period only the country of the emperor can use the yellow color. Then how can they use the yellow color? It is because in that period the Joseon was not country of the emperor's country, but they became the country of emperor in the Gojong period. Then why did Gojong became the emperor? In Gojong period, many other countries came into our country, and he is the king Gojong. Many countries came into our country and came in to make our country to the colony. So Gojong thought he had to make his country more stronger and bigger. So he declared the Dan Empire and he became the emperor by himself. So also he can use the yellow color in the main building of the Taksugun Palace. Then lastly, I will tell you about the role of the Taksung Palace and relics too. First, when he came into the Taksung Palace, you can see the big yard. Like I told in front, this place was used for the big events. So also the high rank officials came in too. So they need the place for the officials to stand. So the high place, like this place for the building, this was used for the royal family and the king, and this yard was used for the officials. Then, today I told you about the place called Chungajan. Then let's end in this place. Thank you. Hello, my name is John. Today I will tell you about Jikji. Jikji was made with metal print and Korea invented it and used it first in the world. And Jikji is the oldest book in the world. And this book was originally it was called Begun Hwasang Churok Buldo Jikji Shinche User but it is too short too long so they made it short to Jikji. And a Buddhist monk whose name is Baegun made this book in Cheongju. And this book tells about the Buddhist stories. And originally, this book was two books, but now we have only one book. And the first page was gone. And this book was made in 1377. 
and this book it is listed on the UNESCO Memory of of the World Heritage. And friends buy this book, and they put this in the friends library. Uh, thank you for listening. From now on, let's talk about the Noandang of the Wunyonggung Palace. Before going inside the Noandang, let's look at the two important things. First is Nodutdo. It is the very big stone in front of this Noandang. This was for the nobleman. Then let's talk about this. This role was to help the nobleman to rise on or off the horse. It is because the horse was very high, so it needed the help. It was also the sign that everyone had to get off the horse or the palanquin to go into this place. So you can see this place is very important place, such as the royal palace. If you go to the Gwanghamun Gate, which is the most important palace, Gyeongbokgung's main gate, you can also see Hachi statue, which has a role of this Nodutto. Then let's talk about the second important thing. It is the lofty gate. You can see the gate of this Noandang is very big and high. It is called lofty gate. There are two reasons why this gate of Noandang is built high. First, it was to show the authority of this building. Second, it was to help people who are on the palanquin or horse to get into the house. The horse and the palanquin was much higher than the men walking in, so they needed this high and big gate. Then let's go inside and talk about more about this Noandang place. Here you can see the signboard. It means Noan, which is to live happily and comfortably during the old era, old age. And also the signboard was by the master calligrapher, which is named Kim Jong-hee. He was very famous calligrapher during the Joseon dynasty. The Hyungsun Deonggun really liked him, so he made the signboard with the letter of the master calligrapher Kim Jong-un. Then let's talk about more. This place is Sarangche, which is the man's place. It was used by the Hyungsun Deonggun. It was the living place and also the sleeping place, but it had the more important role. It was to meet the official and discuss the political issues. You will be very curious that Hyungsun Deonggun is not the king, but why the officials come into this place and discuss the policy. It is because the son of the Hyungsun Deonggun is Go Jong. He is he was not the king, but he became the king by the Hyungsun Deonggun. So Hyungsun Deonggun had a very big power during that era. So the officials come into this house and discuss the political issue. You can see here the special floor. It is called Dumalu. It is elevated from the ground. It is because it was to prevent the building from the moisture and to be cool during the summer. It is one of the very important characteristics of the Sarangche, the men's place during the Joseon dynasty. If you go to the Namsan Hanok village, also you can see this special floor in the men's place. But this place didn't have own door, which is the traditional heating system, so they were very cold during the winter. So they didn't use tear during the winter. Then let's go to the next spot. Hello everyone, my name is Kim Ojin from Youth Cultural Corps. It is very pleasure to meet you guys. Today, I would like to tell you about the Great Bell, which is located at the middle part of the capital, Seoul. 
This bell was used starting from the Joseon Dynasty in 1392. But this bell was once changed by the Japanese invasion in 1592. But this bell was still using from now on. Now, firstly, I would like to tell you about the bell's role during the Joseon Dynasty. First, it orders the protectors of the each gate at the very outside of the wall, especially the capital, the time when to open and close the gates. Secondly, it also means to say the new year of the first, uh, the first day of the new year to the people. And this rule is the same as nowadays too. Nowadays, this bell was just used to say Happy New Year in Korean style as the same meaning of the Western country. This bell rings at 12 o'clock a.m. at the first day of the new year. And while this bell rings, a lot of people gather around to this bell. And just, just the few people could ring the bell with the wide and wooden stick. It's the people who can ring the bell is especially the celebrities or high-ranking people, such as the president. And this bell rings total three, 33 times. And the bell ringing 33 times is coming from the Buddhist thoughts. And this 33 times means to separate the world as the 33 places, and it to give the Buddhist power, which is a good power, to each of the people who are according to the 33 places. And I will going to talk about the bells change during the Japanese invasion in 1592. This bell was first fired off in 1592 during the Japanese invasion. So it means nowadays bell isn't the original bell. The original bell was fired off. And nowadays bell, it was firstly located at the western part of the gate, but it started to move to the nowadays, which is the middle part of the capital. So we, we are still using this second made bell as uh, until nowadays too. Thank you for listening.